so let's understand today question so today we have given this question and that is uh, 21 and 43 okay so we're going to start this one so question is saying that uh, wait one minute so this question is saying that we have to do uh, maximum twin sum of linked list right maximum twin sum of linked list so we have given a linked list of uh, size n where n is uh, even and uh, the ith node we have given that is a zero index of the linked list is known as the twin uh, of uh, n minus 1 minus ith node that is if uh, i is greater than or equal to 0 and should be less than or equal to n by 2 by uh, n by 2 minus 1 okay so this is the things we have given and this is the node we have right so for example if we have n equal to 4 it is saying that if there is n equal to 4 then node 0 uh, let's suppose node 0 is the twin of node 3 okay twin of node 3 so if there is node 0 1 2 like this okay so this node 3 is the twin of node this one okay so node 1 is the twin of node 2 okay like this this is with the twin of this one and this is with this one okay like this so there are only nodes with the twin of n equal to 4 right so it is saying that the twin sum is uh, defined as the sum of nodes and its twin so we have to return the given the uh, head of the linked list with the uh, even num length we have given so we have to return the maximum twin sum of the linked list right so how we'll do that that we will see later but understand like this is the twin of this one and this is the twin of this one okay like this we have given so for example we have given this example here and saying that we have 0 1 2 and 3 nodes we have so we know that this is the twin of this one and this is the twin of this one right so to do that what we have to do we have to make the sum right so when we are going to do the sum right how we will find that so 0 and 1 means if we we'll talk about 0 and 1 so there are the twin of node 3 and 4 right we have 3 and 2 sorry 3 this is the node uh, 3 is the twin of 5 and this is the node of this one right so all we have to do the uh, uh, swing, uh, twin sum right and that will come what uh, 6 how so we have 3 right and we have what 2 and then we have 1 if all we will do this sum it will come what that we will see right so for the 0 and 1 right for the g this is 0 and this is 1 right so the twins uh, of these uh, nodes are nodes 3 and 4 and uh, nodes uh, 2 and uh, 3 right nodes 2 and 3 so on the nodes 2 what we have we have 4 and the nodes uh, Two what we have is uh, two. If we we'll do the sum, we will get six, right? Like this. So similarly, we have to do the sum, and we will return some another value, right? Like this. So there is another things also we have given. Let's suppose we have given four nodes. Four we have given. Two have given. Another example we have given actually, and three. So if we will do the sum, right? How we'll get the answer, right? So when we are going to do the sum with this and this, right? What we will get? Uh, we'll get uh, 4 and 3 is 7 and this and this given 7 like like we have to like this and this we have did what then we have 5 plus 1 we are getting what 6 and this and this we are getting 4 plus 2 we are getting uh, 6 like this we are getting right means uh, we have to do the sum and we will return the sum okay so the twins of the number that we will get that we have to return in this case right so for the first uh, node if we are talking about uh, this node and this node right and this is also two actually okay so when we are going to do the sum of these two right four and three right what we will get we will get seven right but uh, when we are going to do the sum of this and this what will come it will come four right two and two okay so which one is max right so max between seven and four you know that seven is a max right so this will be the answer because in this case we are getting the 6 and 6 both right so both are same so anyone we can return right but when we have the different one then we will have to find the answer okay i think you got me so let's continue the coding right and how we'll do that that we will see i'll explain it later don't worry okay 
okay coming back to here uh, we have given this list node and uh, one value will be there and the node will be there for the each node and these are the constructor to create the nodes right so i'll uh, uh, hide this one and we'll continue here okay so to do that there is uh, a way in which what we what we can do here so now we require a method to obtain the value of the nodes right in the second half of the link list in the reverse order and getting the value of the node is very simple what we can do by using the head which points to the first node in the list then uh, we will use the next point right and we can get all the nodes that we have the same uh, right we will do right so we can use a uh, stack to get the value of the second node uh, in the reverse order and we'll iterate over link list and we will push all the nodes uh, into the stack and uh, to compute us uh, uh, doing some right what we will do we will iterate from the beginning of the list and the head and uh, to get the values of the nodes from the each each of the end of the stack right we will find the first half using the next pointer and we will pop from the top of the stack and we will get the uh, second half right how we will do that let's uh, try to understand okay so first of all what we have we have given uh, this head we have given right and this is nothing but our uh, head node right so from the head node what we will do i will find our uh, current uh, we will take a current node and that current node will start from nothing but our head okay and another what we will do we will uh, create one stack and uh, let me create one stack i can create a stack of integer like this and this is nothing but our stack equal to new stack and that is like this okay now what we will do uh, two things we have right what we will do uh, we'll check the current while while uh, while current is not null if current is not null in this case what we will do first of all uh, in the stack will do push okay yeah and then what we will do will uh, we have the current element right from there we will talk, call the well and we'll uh, add here right now what we will do for now we'll move the current now current is nothing but our current dot next and you will uh, go to the next uh, uh, you can say next uh, next uh, current we have to update right now what we have to do uh, here uh, current we know that current will start from now start uh, current is nothing but our head right that we have always seen now what we will do two pointer we have already taken right so now what we will do we will take find the size right size of the uh, stack right so if we have the size and this is from the stack dot we can make the size yeah this is the function we have and another will take what uh, we can take count we'll start from one okay and uh, in the while loop what we should do on the count side we'll check uh, if it is greater than what uh, size let's suppose greater than size by two if it is greater than count is greater than size by two then uh, not greater than if count is less than let, let's suppose uh, less than equal to right it should not be more than this one right size should be less than um, because half of the uh, uh, half of the part we have to do and half of the part we have to do the sum right okay now uh, we should take one uh, max variable so that uh, we have to return the maximum value right i'll take the max sum what will the max sum will come i'll start from zero and we have to find what our maxim so i'll take a maxim element and it is nothing but our math dot max and we'll pass two element so first element with nothing but our max sum right each time we will update this one so we'll take and the current dot well will take and another what we should do from the stack dot um, the peak element the top element you can say will take right like this so we will get the top top element from the stack like this right and the, the current element from the stack right so we will get our sum each time now if we have the maximum element right so for the uh, next or you can say current we have to move for the current dot next 
सो आवर करेंट एलिमेंट विल गेट मूव आवर नेक्स्ट मूड भी करेंट मूव विल विल मूव एट अ टाइम राइट सो फॉर ऑल द एलिमेंट वन बाई वन विल डू द पॉप राइट सो दैट नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट विल कम राइट एंड देन वी विल इनक्रीमेंट आवर काउंट लाइक दिस ओके एंड फाइनली Uh, if we'll come to here, uh, yeah, this is count is done. This one is done. Now what we have to do? We have to return our uh, max sum. Let me come to here, then you will understand. Let me submit. Oh, it's working. So. What we are doing actually here, the first of all, we will take the stack on the current node, right? So all the nodes we will st uh, store onto the uh, stack, and then we will each time we will move the current will we have to update so that uh, all the element will get uh, updated into the stack. Now when we will read to the, our uh, uh, current element, so current element will take from the head, and we are taking the size by two. So uh, whatever the uh, list we have, so we will do the half by two, so that uh, uh, what we will do half element we we will. do uh, element and from the top of the element so that you will get your answer right uh, give me one second uh, actually what i am trying to say here uh, give me one second okay see what i am trying to say here first of all what we have we have given the list of node let's suppose like this okay so these are the nodes we have given okay so let's suppose this is 0 1 2 and 3 nodes are there right so if there is 4 uh, this is 3 uh, this is 2 and 2 just for example okay these are the nodes right and i, I we will take one uh, stack so we know that this is the stack we have right so from the top we will store the element so if i uh, if we'll do the half of the element right uh, if we'll uh, store all the element onto this stack right just for example this all the stack we will store right so first will come what 4 2 2 3 like this will come okay so what we will do first two element uh, if we'll do the half of this element right so first two element will come what 3 and 2 right so what we'll do uh, from the count while doing while so half element i want to take the size by 2 this is the half element so only 3 and 2 if will come here right so we know that sum will start from what sum is what initially it will come 0 and another will come what current value is not that what 3 uh, from the here right from this element so from the current element if will come from here right if each stack so first it will come 4 and plus will come what 3 right this element like this then it will will come out 7 so next time uh, some will come 7 then uh, next element will come out uh, this uh, this this element will be come and from here it will come this one so uh, current element is 2 plus 2 it will come so which is maximum 7 and 4 which one is maximum so 7 is maximum right so once our we will get the max right so this while loop is completed you will get your max element here right so in this case you will see that we are uh, traversing all the elements right so uh, for the time complexity uh, o of n and space complexity we are storing the all the element into the stack so it will come o of n only okay so thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video please hit subscribe this channel so you will get more video like this thank you thank you for watching this video